Hello guys, Sauce here with another Team Fortress 2 gameplay with commentary. In today's commentary, we're still talking about the Love and War update. Now for the airstrike, the new primary weapon for the soldier. This rocket launcher fires faster at the cost of having one less rocket to start with, it deals less damage. 25% less damage and it has a smaller explosion radius. The cost of when you kill someone you're gonna get an extra rocket of the clip which is a good deal actually. On uh, this first few clips like yeah I killed someone there now I can have four rockets loaded. Uh, this is pretty much to me um, a kill streak weapon because you really need to kill a lot of people for it to become awesome and for example here I'm trying to kill this engineer and I have to spam a lot of rockets to kill him either because the splash damage does um, too little damage and it has a smaller radius it's really hard to kill people like that um, but the bonus that it has once you get the maximum potential from it, it really becomes something to be afraid of. And then I think it's this next clip is the clip that I got the maximum amount of rockets you can have with it, which is 8. Start off using the disciplinary action, one of my favorite melee weapons for the soldier. And killing this guy, now I can have four rockets loaded at once. If I can just stop spamming at that sniper. Um, I'm also using the base jumper along with this because, let's be honest, they pair very well. You're gonna be rocket jumping a lot to utilize the bonus of the airstrike, so to me, either the base jumper or the gunboats are the perfect match for this thing. Uh, right now I have three kills, so I can have six rockets loaded at once. And here trying to use the bonus to f kill that pyro. Unfortunately, I don't manage to. Killing another guy. Now I can have seven rockets. Which, even though they do a less damage shooting like six rockets at once since the first one will probably be used to rocket jumping if you can hit them it does a lot of damage in here I never got the chance to get the eight rockets loaded this pyro air blasts me and I died through the cliff and that's I think the only time in this gameplay that I actually got all eight rockets here using the base jumper to jump backwards and get the health without taking the fall damage. Here spamming inside these little chokes for people that are trying to come out of them. And I don't know, this this match was not the best one to use this. There were a lot of mini sentries which really mess up rocket jumping soldiers. Which of course were messing me up because I'm trying to rocket jump to show off how this can be used and I don't know was I think the best match that I could actually get some something done with the airstrike here spamming all my five rockets at him I don't kill anyone but I deal a good amount of damage this pyro is just conga I don't really care and I'm gonna fight you a lot of people seem to be conga using the new Conga Town now. I really don't like that that much. Especially when like we're getting spawn camped or something, we're just dancing or on respawn. But eh, whatever, just it's, it's our game, just have fun with it. Here managed to get six rockets, but I screw up and threw the sniper against me. Yeah, my genius like that. And here's a new match, which unfortunately is the last clip. I know this was a short video, but um, the demo I recorded glitched. I got gerotted by 
the sniper coming up and it just didn't want to wear off the Jurati and I think that um, a gameplay with Jurati on all the time will not look as good but still I tried skipping this but TF2 crashed and I gave, pretty much gave up so hope you guys enjoyed see you next time take care